Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, little flight tutorial on the uh, Zebo 737-800. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to get this thing started from a cold and dark state. Um, enter FMC information, get the autopilot set up, taxi takeoff, all the way up to our uh, cruising altitude. Um, we're going to be heading to Miami International on this flight. So, uh, Without further ado, let's get you in here and uh, show you how to get this thing started. So the first thing I do is I hit ground services. If you noticed out here, there's nothing out here. Um, this little GPU thing is a battery box. So I hit connect to GPU and it's got a little battery box. You see a little cord going up into the plane here. Uh, this is going to help us get started. So go to the overhead panel. Next I put the battery on and then we're going to connect to that GPU unit okay so you hear stuff spooling up that means we're successfully connected um, switch this over to ground power we can check our bolts and then the first thing I do is I go up here and get these IRS's aligned so click them both over to nav these lights will both extinguish and then they'll go to align to check your time switch this over to HDG STS and then you'll see your time right up here. Mine is one because I've got this set to a uh, short time. I'll show you over here. The uh, settings, go to realis realism settings and then you'll see a line time, real, long, or short. The real time and the long time are both, I believe, 10 minutes plus. So uh, for this tutorial, I've got it on short so we don't waste time sitting waiting for the uh, IRS to line. So next what I do is I go into fuel. Um, I've entered all this in previous uh, based off my flight plan I've got off of SimBrief. So um, if you use SimBrief it's free. Um, it's pretty cool. It sets everything up for you. You just transfer all the data from the uh, flight plan onto this Zebo iPad and in the FMC and you'll be on your way. So after you get all this set up you can look over here and uh, it's automatically transferred into the plane here. So next what we do is I'm gonna get the FMC set up so I click on FMC here we're gonna to go to position in it we're gonna to go to reference airport so like I said we're gonna be taking off from K T P A Tampa International Airport it usually here let me nav data and a date so when I just click that in it put it down here but those were just some uh, some messages we had that I could clear out so KTPA reference airport boom so now you see we got a Latin long position here so you're gonna hit next page and then up here is two Latin longs click one of them it's gonna put it down in the scratch pad here now you're gonna go back hit previous page and then all these boxes they're asking for information so you're just gonna click on that it's gonna put it in there it'll disappear once it disappears now we have some information in our displays here so now the plane knows where we're at now we need to enter and let it know where we're going uh, gate information you can enter that if you want I'm sitting here at Charlie 37 Southwest gate um, then you're gonna go to route so origin airport is gonna be KTPA we've already entered that so they put it down there for us destination is gonna be K M I A Miami International. We're going to be departing from run, runway 19 left. That's off of my flight plan. And flight number is going to be Southwest Airlines 6589. I just made that number up. You don't have to really put a flight number in if you don't want. Okay, so what we're going to do next is our zero fuel weight. Um, all you have to do right here is just click that and it enters everything in for you. So, reserves, I got 2.8 in my flight plan. And then cost index, uh, I put in 10 here. This is just basically, from what I understand, companies use this for, it's like a car, like your miles per gallon. To save money, um, this cost index will tell the plane to ease up on the throttle and take it easy on the fuel so they don't burn so much fuel. 
Um, if they're doing good, they want to make the passengers happy, they'll probably raise this cost index so you can blaze and get there in time or get there ahead of time. Um, but companies regulate this from what I understand. It's just basically a, a fuel management thing. So next we're going to enter our uh, cruising altitude, which for this flight off my plan is 200. That is 20,000 feet. Um, hit execute. Go to M1 limit. And now we're going to set in. So the temperature right here is 15 degrees Celsius. You can either uh, enter that in manually or you can just click the button here and Zebo puts it in for you. So that's all we need to do on this page. Now we're going to go to our takeoff profile. Uh, my plan has us at flaps 10. Enter that. Center of gravity. Again, just click the button and it puts everything in. It's also going to give you your takeoff trim. So our takeoff trim is 3.54. To set that, you just come right down here. And then you look at this little green tab here. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So ours was 3.5. Just scroll this up. Right in between the 3 and the 4 is about right. So right about there. So now we got our takeoff trim set. And then for our V limits, just click, click, and click. You're done. So now we've got our takeoff profile set up. Next, what we're going to need to do is go in here and set up our departures and arrivals. So KTPA, we're going to set up our departure. Right here, your runways will be listed, but we've already put ours in earlier, if you remember. I put mine in, one nine left. Um, if you don't put yours in, you can put it in here there'll be a bunch set up and you can choose which one you want um, and then from there it's going to give you the SID so my SID we're going to be using is Gandhi 7 based off my plan and we're going to be transitioning through SABI so after we get all these selected our runway our transition and our SIDs we're going to click route then you're going to click activate then we execute so what that did was just put some legs in here so if you look, we're going, and it put our uh, all our legs in here all the way up to the SABI. That's the last one we picked, our transition. So we've got everything set up. Now we need to do our arrival. So now we go to departures and arrival again. KMIA. Go to arrival. Here's the approaches. I'm going to pick 09 is mine based off my flight plan. I'm going to do an instrument landing on... Uh, 09 and our stars is going to be CYY8 so CYY8 here it does not have us using a transition so I'm not going to use a transition um, if your flight plan has one just go ahead and select it here um, so now I'm going to execute and now we should have a good plan so we're going to go to legs here and we're going to look you've got everything going all the way down there's runway 09 so few things we need to do to clean this up um, and a few things I do on my own you don't have to do but uh, vectors I'm not using a air traffic control here um, so vector is basically where they send you to get further guidance um, X plane 11's air traffic control is not the best so uh, I'm just gonna fly like a rebel here and not use any air traffic control so I can take this vector out and the way I do that is you click on the one right below it Gandhi if you see it just popped it right down here and then all we do is click on vector and it moves everything up hit execute and there's your new plan we also had something else I don't know if you notice here route discontinuity so that means there's a disconnect in the route so what we need to do is take that out and show it that we're going direct to CYY from the from the disconnect so the way we do that is the same way we just took out that vector click on the one right below it CYY click on the boxes and it's gone hit execute so now we have a smooth plan uh, with all our legs in there so next we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna go through some Oh, I wanted to show you something so this thing's pretty cool uh, you hit start leg and it's, it simulates like a boarding process. People are coming on board and it simulates people putting their bags and getting in their chairs and everything. It's pretty cool. 
So I'm going to go up here and go through some flows. We're going to turn the yaw damper on. This basically uh, makes sure that light extinguishes. This basically keeps us steady um, from our swaying left to right when we're in the air. Um, it'll help dampen the yaw pretty much. So go down here. We're going to turn one of these fuel pumps on. Uh, we're still on ground power, so we're going to keep that on. Flow down through here. Everything's looking good. Right here, if you need to turn the panel lights up, you can do that right here. You can see they're getting bright. Um, we're going to turn emergency exit lights on. Turn the seatbelt lights on. We're going to turn these. Captain, have to turn on the seatbelt sign. Hydraulic pumps on. Trim air. Packs. So basically this is... Um, so these are the air conditions right here. When you turn these on, it gets air condition flowing. This thing basically keeps every zone at the same temperature. So you don't have a really cold in the back of the plane and warm in the front. Um, it kind of keeps it steady throughout. So we got the packs left and right on for AC. We're going to turn the APU bleed on. And we're going to set our cruising altitude, which is 20,000. This is our precision plant panel. Um, and then our landing at altitude is going to be zero. So we're going to keep our strobe lights on to steady. We'll turn anti-collision on. And then we are going to start the APU now. So to start the APU, what you do, you come down here. Flight attendants, prepare for departure, cross check and all call, thank you. Turn on. Wait till this light comes on right here. So once that light's on, you click, hold. And then once that needle goes, it's going to continue going up. Okay, so... So the flight attendant just shut and locked the door for us. Um, they got everything ready. I think that's pretty cool. You can open it, and you can hear all the background chatter and stuff um, if you want. You don't have to. So back to the APU. You're going to keep watching. This is going to go up to 8, and it's going to come back down to about 5 right here. And then when it comes down to 5, there's going to be a light that turns on right here. That's going to let us know the APU gen is available. Board boarding door has been closed. Once again, we need all passengers to remain seated at this time. Please okay. double check the security. So now the APU is available. All electronic devices do need to be turned off. Click hold. This time, this does include all sensors. Hey, we're now on APU gen. Flight attendant, please prepare your doors for departure and cross check. So we'll switch over here. APU gen. Now that we have APU gen on, we no longer need our GPU. So we'll disconnect from GPU and it's gone. Okay, so we've got our APU started. Everything is looking good. We'll go down to our flows one more time. So we'll go up here. You can turn your fuel pumps on now. We'll go up. Everything in here looks good. We got our circuit breakers, lights, I don't know what this chimes only is, I, maybe like a no smoking sign or something. Okay, so everything looks good, we got our APU bleed on, lights are on. So, now what we're going to do is set up the autopilot here. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you, um, I kind of forgot, but if you look at this master caution here, when you start the plane, a bunch of these are going to be lit up. And as you as you get stuff set up, I'll show you here. So now we got electric and fuel set up saying, hey, there's a caution um, that we need to take care of. Um, as you start stuff up, these lights extinguish. So by the end of this, everything should be extinguished and we can reset the master caution. So now we're going to set up the autopilot here. Okay, I'm going to turn the so auto throttle on. So many Hold on one second. So we think. Sorry. Okay, so we turn auto throttle on. And then we're going to turn the flight directors on here. One and the other one. Um, speed. I usually set this speed up to usually about 200. Uh, this really doesn't matter because the 
the information we put in the FMC, it's going to go off of that. But we just set this just in case we need to arm this. We'll have a decent speed to start at. Uh, so heading, we're going to be... We're departing on 1-9 left. So we're going to do our runway heading, which is 1-9. If you look down here and you see this dotted line right here, this is going to show your heading. So, whoops, that's just the bank heading. So we're going to go to 1-9. See if you can see the, the dots down there moving. We're going to go to 1-9-0 for our runway 1-9. And then we're going to go altitude, which was... 20,000 set okay so that's easy uh, that's pretty much the autopilot in a uh, quick nutshell then you're gonna hit VNAV and LNAV and then when we get up to about a thousand I'm gonna fly this thing manually till we get to about a thousand feet and then I'm gonna hit the command button right here that's going to kick in the autopilot and it's going to start flying all that stuff we just entered in the uh, FMC. So, next we're going to do auto brake here. We're going to set this auto brake to RTO. Watch that light extinguish. Okay, we're good. Um, so what that basically does is if we need to abort the landing, we're going to take our throttles and throw them all the way back. And that's going to tell the plane that we're aborting the, the takeoff and it's going to slam on the brakes for us. Um, we just keep this during takeoff. Once we hit the uh, once we hit the air, we're gonna clean this up, turn it to off, and then uh, for landing, what you'll do is set this to one, two, three, or max, depending on if you're a heavy plane with a short runway, you're gonna want to put it on max, and it'll max break it when you land. Um, if it's a light plane, you got plenty of runway. Do two or one if you want. Um, so, anyways, we've got the autopilot set up. We've got our overhead looking really good right now we've got the AC going um, so next what we're gonna do is set up our pushback so I have the plug-in better pushback which is amazing it's pretty cool uh, this plug-in has never crashed never gave me any problems at all I think this is probably the most stable thing I've ever put freeware on uh, on my x-plane files so what you do is just click better pushback you're gonna pre-plan it um, if you look, I've, I've already got this set up, but you, you can take and put this plane wherever you want and you rotate your mouse wheel and it just, it'll take the plane and it'll push you back to wherever you want. So when you're ready, you just click on it and then hit. hit. Zone to cockpit, plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Okay, so we are ready. Question pushback. Ground and cockpit. Toe is driving up. Okay, so one thing I do while the toe is driving up is I'll put this to PLN, PLN plan. And I want to show you guys something here. So what you do right here on the FMC, you're just going to hit steps. And it's going to take you through every leg. If you see the CTR, watch it. It'll move when you hit from leg to leg. See? So we're going through, checking each leg, making sure everything looks good. And right up here... If you see, we're coming in, and then it's got us coming to this DHP right here. And then coming all the way back here, and then landing on the runway. So, this this isn't good. These are sharp turns. We'll never make this. Um, so, what we want to do is take this out. And the way we do that, the same way we did the Okay, deathers. all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. The same way we did the vectors and the uh, discontinuity, we're going to click on the one right below it, G-R-I-T-T, -T, and click on it. So just hit execute, and now if you see, we're not coming up here, back here, and back here. We're coming straight in, and then hitting the runway. So that's a little thing I do while we're waiting for this thing to get us all set up, and then I go back to map. Um, if you look, this thing is cool. Watch it. Literally lifts the plane up. So it's lifting the front of front of our plane up here. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, so we're gonna release our parking brake and get permission to start the engines here. 
Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Okay, so to start engines, one very important thing, I could not figure out why my engines weren't starting, but you need to turn your packs left and right. You need to turn these packs off or the engine's not going to go above 20%. So, turn the AC off for a little bit. What you're going to do is go down here, and you're going to click this over to ground. And then you're going to go down here, and you're going to look right here. The right engine is spooling up. It's at 5, 6, 7. When this gets to about 25%, we're going to introduce some fuel to it right here. So it's at 19, 20. Okay. 23, 24. Take this lever all the way up. And you're going to see this thing keep spooling. Like I said, without those packs, this thing's going to stop at 20%. So make sure you got them packs set up. Okay, let's go outside. Check it. Okay, we have good. Okay, now this automatically goes back to auto uh, when it reaches a certain point. So what we're going to do is click the next one to ground. And then same thing. Wait for this. Complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Okay. Set the parking brake. Now... Disconnecting tail. Stand by. As I said, you can see there's no more uh, lit up things here. So we can reset the master caution here. And then once we got these, both these engines running, they click to auto, you can click them to continuous. Okay, they're both on continuous now. So, another thing we do, or another thing I do, okay, we're disconnected, parking brakes on, we're good. So I'm gonna go through here, and uh, now, we're, now we got the engines running, we can turn this uh, APU off and go to generator. So we're gonna go down all the way through here. We can turn the Pro Beats on now. Go down through here. Turn the AC back on. So is disconnected and bypass bin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Okay, we're going to turn the APU bleed off. I'm going to come down here and start the generators. Okay, generator's on. This is showing that the APU still is on. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it off right here. Okay, APU's off. Now we've got a nice overhead panel here. No lights are on that shouldn't be on. All the master caution lights are off. We've got our plane set up and ready to go. So now we would request uh, air traffic control takeoff, but uh, I'm not using air traffic control. So we're going to go out here. We're going to go uh, direct to the runway and get this thing up in the air. So parking brakes off little throttle.
brakes on. Just check everything. Okay, flaps are set 10. We've got our auto auto throttle on. Everything is looking good.